hello air signs welcome back to my channel presence of a goddess thank you for joining me today today is going to be the new moon reading nice quick and simple if it resonates i appreciate it if you subscribe if it doesn't i do apologize you can check your sun moon and rising and if you want to book a reading with me the link is down below okay my gemini libra my aquarius this new moon is going to have you releasing these little fishes that don't that no longer serve you um it could be a situation it could be people whatever applies to you you're releasing it. You're realizing that the codependency shit is not working for you no more. I feel like you had to go within yourself. Okay, you see that new moon? I feel like you manifested and you had to go within yourself and learn who the fuck you are. Um, a lot of people was trying to project their insecurities on you and try to have you mentally conflicted. Some of you guys could have been uh, depressed. Some of you guys would, could have been heavily doubtful about who you were and who you can become. Um, but you're learning to... Like with your shadow self, you're learning shadow work, self-healing, self-care. Uh, I do have darkness. I do feel like, yeah, like depression. Like you had your, you were in a dark, you were in a dark moment. This was a dark period for you, for most of you guys, whoever's watching this. Uh, I feel like you're coming out of it. The new moon is going to shift the energy and really just show you who you, who you are and who you can become. This is going to be a new chapter of uh, abundance for you. It could be financially, materialistically, but it's going to have you feeling free. I feel like you had a lot of sly people in your circle who were trying to keep trying to hold you back. That's what I'm getting. Um, but you tamed them. Look at this little bandage on the fox. It's like they were trying to be slick, but eh, 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 they got themselves hurt. Okay, but you did it with love. Look at the heart. I feel like you're a very loving person. You know that people karma is coming. Spirits behind you. They're always there. This is a birth of a new beginning with this fish. You could have Pisces in your chart. You might want to check that water or earth sign. I'm getting heavy earth on this reading. And I'm getting heavy water. So you definitely want to check those readings out. But I definitely see you connecting to nature. Nature comes to you. And spirits come to you. You're getting downloads with the Queen of Pentacles. This is the energy of abundance. You could be manifesting um, mon monetary gains. Somebody could have a business and you're manifesting clients. You know, I do feel like it took you a while to grow into this flower. You had to realize it's, it's steps to this. It's levels to this. And you're giving your, your cup to spirit so they can fill it. Fill it up some more. Okay. I feel like there's something you are manifesting that's going to come and help you. It's an opportunity. It's a transformation within yourself. You see the death card in the shadow self. I feel like you had to do some self-healing. You had to realize that it's not just people around you, but it's also you. Why are you allowing them to uh, treat you the way they do or to make you feel the way they do? You, you're stopped doing the, the blaming game and realizing you had to transform yourself. You see that fish? You had to kill the old beginning to start a new beginning. And I see, I don't know if that's a snake or a rope. But I saw the snake. It's like, that's a rope actually. But it's an illusion, in my opinion. <laughs> okay? I do feel like there's some sneaky people around you. Um, And I feel like you're releasing them. Like that spirit, you're releasing them. I feel like you do your own thing. You don't do what everybody else do. And they mad about that. But they stop, They try to steal your shine. But you a whole rebel out here. Two, two. Okay, they want to collaborate with you. But you don't want to with the rebel. You're doing your own thing. You're better alone. You, you know this. You're a very intuitive person. I feel like this is like single energy, not a pinnacle. It's not even just single in a relationship, but just you're alone. And you're okay with that. Because everything you do alone, it grows prosperity. I feel like because you were codependent in the past and you realized those codependencies was holding you back from the new door, the new opportunities the spirit was trying to present with you. You realized you could not bring those people or situations with you. You couldn't bring that baggage with you uh, with the full card. You learned that all you could do is take one little sack and take a leap of faith. Okay. That you're looking up at spirit. You're looking up at source, the higher power. And they're looking down at you like, we got you. Just do it. With the dog, this is loyalty. You have you're loyal, and spirit is loyal with you, so you don't have to worry about a thing. 
okay? I do feel like people in your circle, you felt like you had a fight with them. And you were realizing, like, why I'm fighting with these people in my circle? 3 plus 7 is 10. I don't know why I got 10 of wands. So there was a burden to you. It was just weighing you down. Look, your own friends. Like, you feel like you were competing with people you were supposed to love. I also feel like you're bringing in your new soul tribe. You're realizing you could have just three close friends. And you're realizing that they're the only ones who have your back. But I also feel like it's people you don't even know that you didn't even expect to be friends with that is actually supporting you. You guys could be collaborating. You could be doing a business. You could be doing like going to school. And these could be your classmates. These could be your um just people that really support you when you're down. They don't put negativity in your in your mind. Five 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 pop up. That is change. With the seven of pentacles, you're building a new life for yourself. They're helping you build. Look, seven plus three again. <laughs> That's ten of pentacles. That's abundance. Because you're doing the work. And you're truly bringing happiness in yourself. Some of you guys could have children that you're doing this for. You're probably spending more time with your children. And Spirit sees that and they appreciate you trying to be a good parent. And you're also feeling free. You're feeling free. This is a lot of single energy. So I do feel like you released a relationship or you just, you going solo dolo. Like this is earth sign energy. Check that reading out. You're realizing you do better alone. You sit on lotus flower bomb. Look up to the spiritual symbolism of that. Source behind you. Filling up your cups. You're satisfied with the outcome that's about to happen. I feel like you've been manifesting it and you're patiently waiting. You see her holding her hand. She's like, okay, now the wait begins. And you're being patient about it because you know it's going to bring peace. Okay? It's going to bring peace. What you pour in and what you pour out. A snake behind you, though. These snakes. like, But you, you're cleaning your feet. You're starting a new beginning. You're not the person you were before. I told you, Ten of Wands. You're releasing those burdens. And this is you. <laughs> Once again, the cat in the coffin. You know spirits is about to give you waiting on that abundance. Look, they're going to blow the horn. It's, your energy is shifting with the new moon. Your energy is going to shift after the new moon. Your blessings is coming. You're the cat. You're intuitive as fuck. The rainbow. Good. After the rain is the rainbow. So you probably went through a lot of obstacles. And now the rainbow is coming out. And then you're releasing those sneaky ass people. They want to steal your shine. They want to be like you, but they can't. Look, you stand on your own foot. Like you don't. You holding yourself down, and they say, "Oh shit, I missed something." Yeah, because you were trying to steal my shine and it wasn't working. It could be somebody business. Like you got a copycat, but just in general, they just like your style because you're different. You're unique. So with the page of pentacles, you bring an abundance from being unique because people are like are attracted to you. And they want to work with you. And they want to, they want, like, this is clients for some of you guys. Like, you're getting customers. You're a rebel. You do your own thing. People appreciate that. And with the justice card, that's the truth. This is you again. Okay, you're getting justice, good karma. And you know it. It's something you've been waiting on. And it's coming. Spirit's about to reward you. And it's going to bring so much happiness to you and your family. And if it's not just your family, it's just to yourself. Because I do get solo dolo. You and your kids, possibly. Yeah, queen of cups. Definitely mother nature. I mean, mother uh, energy. You and your kids going to be set. Because you come from a pure heart space. And you did the work. You did the shadow work. And you doing your own thing. 909, look up that angel number. But you are swim away. You swim away from the sharks. And doing your own thing. Two again, two two two. Look up two two two. All right, air signs. That's the reading for your uh, new moon energy. I hope it resonated. If it did, support your girl. I appreciate you. Until next time, love and light.